Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, I suppose. We're on a uh, pre-dinner. Excuse me. We are on a pre-dinner chaos walk to get these guys tired out. We've got five. Um, we've got Ronan Cronk, Fashion Friday, and Justin. And uh, we're just on our way back to the car now. <laughs> um, obviously, the past couple days the videos didn't happen. It's just been crazy. And then by the time I do have free time to make a video, it's dark outside so you wouldn't see anything anyway. Um, so I just wanted to film a quick one today, firstly saying Merry Christmas if you celebrate it, otherwise Happy Holidays. Um, from Stride. We're obviously going dark basically for the week. Um, other than boarding, I will try to still post some photos and things, but it'll be sporadic if at all. So I'm trying to take some time off, even though it's not really time off because I have borders, but still. Um, and I did want to answer some of the questions that I got for the Q&A video that didn't happen. Um, I know, Flash, you're a good boy. And sort of the around the theme of uh, how do I deal with counter surfing or jumping all over guests or any of those like not desirable behaviors around the holiday specifically, like people are coming in and out, you don't want your dog bolting out the door, you don't want your dog into your turkey, you don't want them, like you want them to have manners, right? So a simple way for me for counter surfing is uh, my dogs are not allowed in the kitchen. The only time they're allowed in the kitchen is to drink some water. Row in, thank you. Um, and then they drink their water and they get the heck out of the kitchen. So they're allowed to watch what's going on from the door, um, but that's it. And if you have trouble, like obviously Rowan is still learning this. So I make sure I walk him out of the kitchen. I use my spatial pressure to get him out of the kitchen. Um, and then if he's really being consistent about getting in my way and underfoot, then he goes in a kennel because he's a puppy. Um, oops. <laughs> And sort of the same with the greeting guests at the door. Like, Rowan's going to be in his kennel when people come over. And then before I let him say hi, I'm going to take him outside to have him pee so that he doesn't excite to pee on people. It's awkward. Nobody wants that. Um, and then in all likelihood, I'll have him on a leash. When he's saying hi to people. And I also coach the people. So they know if he jumps up to step into him, they know to not pay him any mind until he's as calm as a bull terrier probably can be. Like when you can see he's visibly trying, you know? Um, so that's a huge help when it comes to meeting new people is coaching the people to do the right thing. And uh, then to either have your dog on a leash or in a kennel, like if they don't deal well with people in the home, have them in their kennel, give them a bone. Let them just chill and relax, and when they're calm, open the door, offer them the opportunity to come say hi, and if they don't want to, that's okay. Just leave them in the kennel. Let them be chill. Um, the other thing I'd recommend too, tire them out, like what we're doing now. Take them on a longer walk than normal, give them a lot of sniffy time, give them a lot of attention right before you're not going to be able to give them a lot of attention. Um, like these guys, when we get back, We'll all go in their kennels, they'll have some chew time. So they get uh, like a tartar buster or whatever takes them 20, 30 minutes to get through. Um, and then they'll probably sleep while I'm cooking, which is what I want. And through dinner, and then after dinner, we'll take them out, have a good romp in the backyard, um, stuff like that. So it's all about energy management and just setting them up for success and preventing if you can't, oh. <laughs> if you can, preventing the situation to ever happen. Friday's not having it. She's not having a puppy. That's fair. He is annoying. Um, yeah. 
So that's basically, those are those problem situations. And especially like if they're barking out the front window, like every time someone passes the house and people are pulling in your driveway and things like that, kennel them away from the window, close drapes so they don't see that stimulation. And then obviously like after the holidays, after the stressors, take the time to invest in the training to make the behavior stop. But for like a temporary band-aid thing, make use of your kennel, make use of your leashes inside, do what you need to do. Use your place training, use your kennel. And uh, that'll sort of help you get through the holidays. I also had a question about like, did I feed my dogs parts of the meal? Like, did I give them a special Christmas meal or anything like that? And yeah, everyone here is gonna get that. They'll get a bit of turkey, uh, raw turkey. And then we have some dehydrated like green beans and carrots and stuff. Oh my goodness, child. Oh, she's playing with him now. <laughs> All right. Um, that's true. Row in. Maybe leave the lady. Out. Good boy. Also leave the leash dog. Thank you. Oh, and for those of you wondering why Justin is on leash, it's because he's a beagle. And beagles are driven by their nose. So that's kind of a good example of preventing a bad situation. Like, we'll have him just on a leash or even on a long line that we still have in our hands. Um, because obviously, if a beagle smells something, they're gone. Like, there's no calling them back. Their brain kicks into hunt mode and that's the end. So, clearly, that's not what we want to happen. Um... So we just take precautions to make sure it doesn't, right? So I think that was most of them. There's a couple more that I'll cover um, probably next Talk Tuesday, which will be not this coming Tuesday, but the Tuesday after. And uh, in the meantime, thank you guys so much for your support of Stride and of the YouTube channel and participating on Instagram and all that stuff. It's very much appreciated. Uh, I love reading your comments. The likes really help me figure out like what you guys like to see and what you want to see more of. Um, yeah, and again, just Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Have a great New Year. Enjoy the break if you have it. And uh, <laughs> hope you guys have at least as much fun as this little bean. And we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.